All right, hey everybody, it's Antagonist Kim, and we're back with more Thumaturge. We are, uh, we have a bit of a split decision. We can continue to investigate the Golem stuff, or we can search this area, because we actually discovered another Salutor, a Djinn, in this back market here. I'm kind of tempted to do the Djinn, but I know I was trying to do the story stuff too. So, uh, it's a hard decision, but I think, I think... We're going to do... Do we have this in on the map? This is by the barber. Does it tell us what section? Oh, Moreau. Early morning. Hmm. Interesting. Lots of point of interest. Uh, uh, uh. I guess we will... For the Jin. I don't know. Oh, God. Is it in our journal? Find father's friends. Meet with Rasputin. We have find the person who has a flaw. So at least it gave us a marker. Um, let's uh, well, let's continue to do this real quick. We might need to find Rasputin and do other stuff too. But let's at least get this done. Uh, we need to go to. Still acting like there's something here. Hold on, wait. Maybe we can call, talk to a Mordecatch. I apologize, I know I'm probably mispronouncing his name. It's still gonna be like this. Hello? Among all the smells, teas, and the senses, you can cross the market gate. There is one dominating all others. Oranges. Sweet little suns. Okay. Oranges are delicious. That's the barber. Okay, so one of these must be our That's guy here. That's him! The one with the book! You oozing carbuncle! You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around where they ain't supposed to? Miruv, don't kid around with them. Um... Ask who wants to ask you to leave. Uh, say that you just wanted to go into the laundry. I just wanted to stop by the laundry. He must have shit his pants. You'll have to find yourself another laundry. Oh. Uh, of course. Where are we at here? We have Bukovac, Upir, Velas. Let's do Velas. First. His attacks seemingly take the longest. Uh... We'll do this one, and then... Let's torment you. Okay. Kind of similar. We'll still continue to work our way through these guys. <laughs> Might as well mess with them a little bit. Okay, and then we gotta do... To Book of Ark. Yes, he is gold. I mean, Doom could potentially kill him. We'll just do this one, and then let's attack this guy with this. Nice. Drop his attack there. It's alright, we got this. Um, let's continue to torment him. Perfect. Alright, and then we got Upir. Let's do for points. Ah, he didn't drop his turn. That's okay. 
Uh, honestly, let's just knock you the frick out, bro. Okay. All right. <laughs> ah, that's a bummer. Okay, well, we're gonna slug you, buddy. And then you need to, uh, take some pro. Knock out. He is still going through something. We'll get him some torment and some more health. Perfect. Okay. Um, can we do this quicker? Uh, enemy's not in the breakdown state. Okay. Let's do it slower if he doesn't kill him with this. All right, perfect. All right, I'm pretty sure the Kajesh guy is, is in here. A pocket, a patched jacket. It looks heavy. The jacket is bitten by harsh curses tossed around in pent-up rage at his wife, who dared to criticize the threadbare checkered fabric and the ragged patches. It's his favorite jacket. So what if he likes to look like a beggar in it? He doesn't have to be dapper. He's there, and that's enough. Interesting. So is this actually our Mordecai guy? I don't even know. This might be the djinn thing. But... Uh... Oh, no, 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 yeah. His office is right there. Okay, let's go in there. I'm not sure who we were supposed to mess with first, but let's do it. Someone's You're sleeping. talking nonsense! By Abraham's beard, that's the way it was. Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. They said there's even bodies. More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula. Practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this! They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently, I've taken an interest in one of those. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? Mention his bodyguards. I hope those guys outside are your relatives. Otherwise, you're paying too much for your protection. Are you scared of something? I'm not easily frightened. I have the time spent working with your father to thank for that. You've got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Shulsky. Talk about his conflict with Stanislaw. Inform him how your father died. Allude to the conversation you just interrupted. Um... I think we can still do this and ask these, but... I was interested in this giant you mentioned to the fishmonger. I can't help you. Rabbis are the ones who deal with golems. I didn't say anything about a golem. I'm afraid I can't help you. And now, if you'd like... You were curious how my father died. Beneath the ruins of a building in Shrudmieszcze. That's awful. How did it happen? I'm glad you're asking. A remarkable death, isn't it? Yes. Right, and then his conflict with our father? Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the store, and his father as well. Something continues to elude me. Why'd you leave the store then? Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. You're not telling me everything. I don't have to explain myself to you, Mr. Shulsky. 
I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, let's examine. Lost coin, an old coin worth 30 kopecks. The coin is soaked through with irritation brought on by failed attempts of reconciliation. How long can you keep explaining things to someone who refuses to listen? Once you've been found guilty, there's nothing that will change that. No fact or plea. Anger is all that remains. It's related to dad there. Okay. Group photograph in the office. Father and Mordekech on the store's opening day. They look happy. The photograph has covered a thick layer of regret and disappointment. Uh, Mordekosh really believed in all of it. In friendship and good intentions and in the fact that Stanislaw Sholsky was a good person. Unfortunately, he was wrong. All that was left of the friendship was bitterness. So what else could we be missing here? Is there something else you need? Let's try this again. Let's talk about your relationship with my father. A tense relationship. Mr. Sholsky, I'll say it one more time. Stanislav and I didn't quarrel. So you've got proof of their disagreement. Liar. Your anger still lingers around the photograph of my father. You're going to find it hard to hide anything from me. I'm not in the habit of speaking ill of the dead, Mr. Shulsky. Especially to their family. Old grudges drove us apart. Not all stains are easy to remove. Especially ones on a person's honor. And might they give you a reason to seek revenge? A motive? I can't summon golems if that's what you're getting at. But you know there is such a possibility. Is that all? I need to get back to work. Hmm. Okay. I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Mm -hmm. Farewell. Right, we gotta search Dad's study now. That has to be it, because uh, nothing else we're gonna be able to do here. Let's make sure there's nothing else back here. There's something over there. Okay. The world around us. Uh, announcements tonight. We expect to observe unusual phenomena in the sky. Uh, more to try. Uh, Isenbaum argues that invites all astronomy enthusiasts to his studio to look together at the passing comet. Uh, we don't need to introduce this inventor to our readers. The last time... The last issue featured an extensive interview with the new telescope designed by Eisenbaum. It is certainly a good idea to take advantage of this invitation. Hmm. All right. Well, let's, uh, hopefully we have a fast travel here. We need to travel to, we'll look at this thingy. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, here we go. Perfect. Hey there. Uh, this is home. Okay. Got other people around here. And a little post dude. Newspaper article, then and now. Know that for a poet there is but one way, in the heart to seek inspiration and pursue God. In this spirit, Master uh, Miskovich, Miskovich spoke a lot, defining the poet's aspirations and goals. Today, times have changed some chatter. Inspiration fueled by beer, pursuit of good dinner and some cheer. This poem can readily be used to describe the phenomenon writer Zenon Prominsky. 
I'm assuming. Uh, recently, almost every day, can we meet him in some cafe or restaurant? Luckily, the pursuit of satiating his appetite does not seem to be completely obscure of his desire to discuss art. It is enough to merely start him on the subject to be drawn into a conversation that could last for hours. Article that spikes um, a ma that in Spikes magazine. Okay. All right. Let's uh let's head in. All right. We need to uh go into dad study here. All right. We have a lot more things we gotta find. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Old letter. Didn't get to read that. That's a bummer. Okay, let's try not to miss reading stuff here. Property deeds, a list of father's properties. There's a lot of them, but most are well-known addresses in the outside of the city, except for one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kabbalistic text. It's long and convoluted and describes how only the sons of Abraham can create living bodies out of clay. Stinks of misogyny. He slams the book on the desk and violently turns its pages, tearing the page between trembling fingers. He's vexed. He pauses to think about the curse of Abraham that was placed upon him. There must be a solution. There must be. Okay. Synagoga Nożyków, Mirów. Okay, amulet. A cylindrical medallion conceals a protective incantation in Hebrew. The words engraved on the amulet exude regret, and the message enchanted in the locket whispers a warning. The echo of a golem's curse smells of black uh, uh, Kabbalah and remorse. I feel something else, a trace. I recognize it. It was in the ruins of the tenement house under which father was killed right old man okay golem's genesis rabbi chauffeur uh from nojek's synagogue cast the golem curse on father interesting especially given the fact that the two were seemingly friends on the other hand destroying important relationships was father's favorite pastime so it doesn't really surprise me if i want to get rid of the golem i should go back to merle got this too i have to find their meeting place an ordinary box, nothing special. The box is seemingly empty, yet at the bottom of it resets a clear and precise thought that wasn't left there by accident. It was laid out carefully by the skilled mind of a thaumaturge. The message is short. Let us meet. Family secrets, a suspicious address, and a message that only another thaumaturge could read. It smells of mystery and conspiracy. There is exactly what Konichkin and Svetlana were talking about. I should check it out. So update us for the synagogue. I'm wondering if what I found will help us uh, speak to... Uh, what's his name here? Hmm. Last time we found stuff in the bathroom too. Okay. Not this time. No bit of light reading. Okay, hop out of here. I'm loving this purple we got here. All right, my dude. Take me to Mira. Load page was kind of crazy there. Um, I want to go talk to what's his name though first. Yeah, that's the synagogue. I'm not ready for that yet. I want to see if we can find a way to talk to what's his name or not. Ooh, here's. What do you want to tell me, friend? Oh no. We have to follow the shadows, but not. 
and the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. I laugh all you want, but I really can see it. I can help it. Oh, no. I go this way. Oh, the other way. Victor, promise me that the whispers of these salutors of yours won't turn you into a cynic like your father. I promise, Mother. I'd rather not change at all, much less into father. See what else we got here? You'll see! My Oper will order you to eat your own brain! I'm telling Mom, all your temper charges are crazy. Okay. Oh. This way? Oh, this is for the gin then. I didn't realize it would solve it for me right away. Better let me look around first. There he is. I've been carrying it with me for half a lifetime. I remember there was someone else here. He wasn't happy. He thought I wasn't ready yet. Miss, maybe he was right. I was not expecting that. We have something else over here. Maybe. This. A scarf has an interesting diamond pattern. There's some words of anxious explanation entangled in the fringe. So what if the scarf is in the men's department? The diamonds would go great with the lace. And if I add the shoes I took from Yannick, it would be perfect. Fashion is for the bold. Not entirely sure what they want me to, to take from that, but this is letter, my dear. Uh, we are meeting again this evening for the bridge at the usual place. I will need a resolute partner this time, so I hope you will not refuse my invitation. Give my name at the entrance, and the host will show you to your place. It may be a little late. Stay in good health and be, and I'll see you there, JN. Okay. I have a husband. Go away. That's fine. I need to get to what's-his-name's house. I think it's this way. Uh, old pharmacy? It's not really finishing that. Where's, a, uh, where's, uh, what's his name's house? No, that's the synagogue. Oh, that's his house right there. Well, shoot. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this real quick then. Why would I need to go in the pharmacy again? Missy looks run down. Huh. Okay. My bad, guys. Okay, we gotta go down here. Barber still. His place is this way. Let's see if we can break his silence real quick. This is the laundromat. Yep. 
This is the laundry area. My dude. I hope you're in here still, because I gotta still talk to you. Let's see if it changed. Mr. Shulsky again. Have a new theory. I'm leaving now, but I can... T Farewell. Something still eludes me. What else am I supposed to find for him? Okay, well, I guess let's just go to the synagogue. We kind of went that way already. Let's go this way. Dog there. It's cool. Synagogue is somewhere. I don't want to go here because I feel like that just is going to end his thing. So, what else was I supposed to find for him? Is my question. A former chick of my father's store. He might know something about the golem. It's time to find him. Hmm. We know the source of the golem is this, so is there a reason to talk to him more except getting more info on our father? I dislike that it just suddenly has a... Uh, thing that we can't quite break. I've never run into that before. Maybe it's in the synagogue? Nah, I doubt it. We know it's this dude. That caused so much problems. I imagine that what I'm looking for is somewhere in this map, but I could be wrong. Ooh, here we go. What is this? New type of telescope. This is well, for that other well. thing. Print out for the torn corners. Okay, we figured out that one. Beauty of the Night Sky. Uh, Mordekesh Eisenbaum has constructed a new type of telescope, which can be tested with a small fee. Perfect opportunity uh, is tonight as a comet will appear in the sky, so the inventor invites everyone willing to his apartment. Okay. That's cool, but I just... I want to find out more about this. So what could we do to solve this? Maybe go back to the store? Uh, Father's store isn't here, is it? Oh, it is. Um, so where is that at? Up and to the right? Hold on. Let's go back to Father's store. I imagine that's probably what we're missing there. It won't let me go past the horse carriage. Yeah, it's still this way. Oh, there's admire the view of the shop. Okay. Let's go back in here. I know we have more points we can use. Has to be something else we're missing here. Maybe we can talk with our sister again? I don't know. Hmm. It's quite a conundrum. Not now, Victor. I don't have time. I have to poke around here a little more yet. I'm not completely sure what to look for. If you need anything, just ask. Hmm. 
maybe after we do the synagogue it'll point us to something, but I don't know. I just don't like that that's that, you know? There has to be something else I'm missing here. Has to be. Anything at all? I mean, we're back at the spot with the gin. Alright, well, I guess let's go to the synagogue. We're gonna do the gin a different episode. Alright, let's hope for the best here. Uh, actually, it's already a 30-minute episode, guys. Uh, sorry this last bit was kind of looking, but I was really hoping I could break this. I have a feeling once I do this, it's going to end this, but irregardless, we'll go talk to uh, what's-his-name-in-the-synagogue, because it's obvious, according to us, that he was the main perpetrator of the golem. See if we can break this curse. But guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.